unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if y'all please get on there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Realm of Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Raging Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, what the fuck happened to Battlefield 2042? Now let's be going now. I just I got a, I got a few questions. I got a few questions because as y'all see right here on your screen, right here, out of five stars, these bitches didn't even get two. <sighs> let's speak on it. now. Battlefield came out yesterday. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't get it because uh, Rage King doesn't believe in buying games on release or pre-ordering anymore, and it is for exact reasons like this. Now I was all on the the Battlefield bandwagon. I was, I, because I, I, I finally was like, you know what? If we got competition in these first person shooters, somebody got to release something good, right? But yeah, somehow, some way, even with competition, we still get the same results, still the same dumbass devs doing the same dumbass shit. And 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 this right here really makes me afraid for other games that possibly have competition because what is the point of having competition if every single game development company is going to do the same stupid shit over and over? Okay? And to let y'all know I'm not capping about this right here, this 1.9 rating, we have an article here from a trusted source known as Forbes. You know, Forbes says that it's got to be some kind of true, right? So y'all know what we're going to do. We're going to read. We're going to react. Just, that's just how we do. But I, I will say this. Battlefield, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. We're going to come back to it later. Now, let's read on. Battlefield 2042 is a total disaster and gamers are not happy. Wow. Battlefield 2042 is out today after a week spent in early access for pre-order customers and EA Play slash Xbox Game Pass subscribers. In that short time, the game has managed to make almost everyone unhappy except some top Battlefield influencers who seem to have remained oddly quiet about the game's host of problems because they trying to be on EA's cock. They're getting paid to do so. Stop acting like we don't know. That's what the fuck that is. Damn, that bitch was fine. But let's move on. When I say host of problems, I mean that quite literally. I will turn to Reddit for the master list, which is rather long. With the help of a very disgruntled Battlefield 2042 subreddit, user you user you Jimmy Jelly Swim compiled the following master the following master list of everything the game gets wrong or simply does not include. Features included in many previous games in the series. How do y'all have a new game but take out good shit and replace it with nothing? Fucking idiots. The problem gamers are having with Battlefield 2042 are manifold and widespread. These include annoyance with the game's cheesy voice lines, dissatisfaction with the map design and map variety, frustration with bad bullet spread that makes accurate shooting incredibly difficult, and lack and a lack of game... Hold on. Shit. And a lack of game modes. Hmm. Other complaints include a lack of guns compared to past releases and missing features like thermoscopes, squad voice chat, lackluster scoring systems, and what many are seeking or what many are seeing as a weak array of vehicle options. End of the article. I just want to know how the hell do y'all have competition? And Call of Duty Vanguard, which ain't nothing more but World War II 2.0. And you still drop the fucking ball. What the, see right here. This, this is what lets me know right here, right now. EA, y'all ain't buy shit, bro. EA as a whole sucks. I don't even think EA stands for electronic arts. I think it stands for entirely ass because that is exactly everything. Literally every fucking thing y'all put out is entirely ass. Okay. 
from your FIFA game being broken monetization through all hell to, to Madden being an absolute shit show. I feel like I'm reading a fucking uh, uh, article for Madden, but yet it's everything EA. It's everything EA. It's like everything EA and everything 2K is absolute dog shit. So how the hell do they produce absolute dog shit, hire the worst motherfuckers they can find to work on these games, and yet they are the top two grossing motherfucking gaming companies in the world not named Activision or anything Nintendo? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? So I guess... We gonna have to have another developer or another two or three developers come out because we have not one but two shitty first person shooters. You know gaming is bad when motherfuckers literally have to pick their poison with their games. When the fuck did playing video games become pick your poison? Which one you want to be pissed at this time? You want shitty ass Battlefield with nothing on it? Or you want Call of Duty Vanguard, which you've already played and got to pay to play all over again when you've already fucking played it it's five years ago? Four or five years ago. What the fuck is going on with you gaming companies, bruh? Why can none of you get it right? Literally none of you. And if y'all can't get Battlefield right when y'all had the beta, it took y'all three work, three years to work on a piece of shit. No true game, no campaign mode, no true modes that, that, that make any fucking sense. Y'all had the time to do all that and still produce a shitty game. This right here lets me know that nothing EA puts out is going to be good. I was excited about Fight Night, but now I'm at the point to where I say y'all probably gonna have to keep that shit. Because y'all can't get right shit y'all been working on for three years. And seeing as how y'all never bothered making a goddamn uh, uh, fight night. And y'all released them shitty ass UFC games that literally nobody is playing anymore. That lets me further know. Y'all not going to give a shit about anything else y'all putting out. There's no way you literally have Call of Duty World War II 2.0 to compete against. And your game still ends up being worse than their remake. EA, y'all are absolute dog shit. Every fucking dev at EA, every dev, every boss, every mo even the god, the, the only people that deserve respect at EA are the fucking janitors. Because they are the only ones that's got to pick up that bullshit that is spewed on the fucking floor of EA's goddamn uh, 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 building. That don't make no damn sense. This makes no fucking sense. I can feel the frustration of the motherfuckers that bought this game, and I ain't even bought this bitch. That's ridiculous. What were y'all doing with the beta then if y'all weren't going to fucking fix nothing? Why even bother releasing the beta if you weren't going to fix nothing? Why are you devs releasing these games half-ass every fucking time? Y'all, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all like when people talk shit to you about fucking up? Do y'all like that y'all can't even get on social media and enjoy yourselves because y'all suck at what you do, but want to ask people to pay their hard-earned money for shit that you suck at? How do you suck at something but still want somebody to motherfucking pay you? That's what I don't understand. I thought you got paid for being good at something, at least decent. Y'all ain't even decent at y'all shit. Y'all just absolute 100 grade A unwiped ass. Unwiped swamp ass. It's like you motherfuckers are suckers for pain. Y'all like when people talk shit to you. You like being bombarded with shit posting and everything like that. But tell me, how the fuck do y'all expect people to be positive about something that y'all clearly can't get right? You can't get your shit right, but you want everybody to praise us if you do. Fuck that and fuck you and fuck your family trees if that's how you think. I don't want to hear shit about, oh, it's the pandemic. Oh, well, this happened. Oh, my big toe started hurting. Oh, my left ass cheek started itching. Oh, my right nipple was hard, so I had to even it out with my left. I don't, I'm tired of the motherfucking excuses. It's always an excuse. You know what? From now on, people need to start paying y'all ass by, by, by satisfaction. 
If I think the game ain't worth no more than $10, then goddammit, I'm not giving you no more than $10. Because this is fucking ridiculous. Either make all these games free to fucking play, y'all, or y'all stop buying these motherfuckers on release. Wait six months after the goddamn game. Or better yet, wait till the next game come out, because that's when this one will be fucking playable. Absolute dog shit. I'm out of here.